Hello, everyone. Welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Kichita. Let's go see what activities took place in the past week that was organized by some of the meditation centers worldwide, allowing locals to come together to practice and learn meditation, as well as going out into the city in order to teach meditation to the locals. The Meditation Center of Chicago arranged a special retreat for locals on Saturday, March 10, 2018, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. There were 40 locals and six volunteers who joined this retreat. The activities included orientation, exercise, and meditation. The teaching monk and staff introduced two major techniques, which were right mindfulness and right concentration. The activities that day were held for the participants to improve their mindfulness and concentration to align together. The Dhammakaya Meditation Center Boston arranged their weekly Saturday meditation class for locals. On Saturday, March 10, 2018, there were seven participants who came regularly. The teaching monk kindly led meditation for 45 minutes. After the meditation session, they shared their meditation experiences where everyone had good inner experiences. The Seattle Meditation Center held a meditation session for locals on Tuesday, March 6, 2018. There were 10 people who attended the meditation session. The teacher monk and the volunteer shared their experiences to the class. Everyone gained new knowledge and good experiences from their meditation practice that night. Wapatamagai Manchester arranged a meditation session for locals on Wednesday, March 7, 2018. Before the teaching monk taught meditation, the participants did basic yoga to stretch their muscles and tendons by following the instructor, Ms. Jeanette Savinsky, for 10 minutes. When their body was comfortable and relaxed, the teaching monk played a meditation song to create a peaceful environment and then led everyone in meditation. After that, the teaching monk taught them how to keep their minds concentrated at the center of their body by being careful with their action, speech, and mind. The teaching monk also taught them about the precepts. Before the class was over, the teaching monk informed the participants about the meritorious news and invited them to join the Songkhan festival at the temple. Lastly, the teaching monk opened the chance for them to ask any questions that they had regarding the new knowledge and the meditation experience. The Dhammakaya Meditation Center, Silicon Valley, was invited to lead a meditation session at Take a Chance Ranch in Morgan Hill. They were warmly welcomed by the hosts, Beth and Eric Kilberg. It was an outdoor activity on the afternoon of Friday, March 9, 2018. There were four locals who joined this meditation session. Everyone was very interested in the meditation technique that was taught by the teaching monks because they felt it was very simple and made sense. Wapatamagai Tokyo arranged the second Japanese Thai Buddhist Culture Exchange on Sunday, March 11, 2018. There were 12 participants that joined. They offered alms in the morning's alms round, offered meals to the monks, and had lunch together. In the afternoon, all the participants listened to a Dhamma teaching from the teaching monk on the topic of Smile is the International Language. After that, they meditated together by following the teaching monk's instruction in Japanese and ended with a special activity of the month. This activity was to recall the seventh anniversary of the tsunami disaster in Japan. They chanted and dedicated merit to the diseased. This culture exchange activity is organized every second Sunday of the month. They were interested in the Thai culture, Listen to dumb up carefully and practice meditation. They also enjoy studying basic Thai language. They hope that they will be able to join the next activity next month. It's always great to see many locals who are interested in practicing and learning about meditation. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Long Pao Tamat Shayol. From the first time I started to study dumb up, I knew I couldn't afford to waste a further moment of my life. I wanted to advance my perfections each and every day. I wanted my inner experience in meditation to progress. I reinforced my commitment day by day, leaving me with constant delight and joy inside. 
follow my example consolidate your purpose in life for yourself and you will find your own spiritual life replenished with determination this was said on may 8th 1996 well everyone that's all the time we have for today don't forget to follow the world peace news at en.damakaya.net and i will see you again here next week สวัสดีค่ะ